MTM has just released the wide mouth version of the famous PF22.2 foam cannon. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, under initial impression, um, I'm slightly underwhelmed, if not disappointed. Now I've been waiting for this thing for a very long time. I've always loved the PF22. The only negative I've had about it is that it has the small neck opening, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into the contents of this thing and actually test it. I haven't tested this thing yet, other than dealing with the top and that is where my disappointment comes in. The wide mouth quick connect, it's like a quarter turn system. I don't like it personally very much at all. Now the good thing about this is you can either buy the whole kit if you don't have a foam cannon or if you already have a PF22 and you just want that wide mouth version, they actually sell an adapter kit. Now just to be upfront with you guys, I am a big believer in the MJJC, both the Pro V2, the new V3 that they have out coming out at some point this year, I don't know when, and the, the SV3. Now, with this quick connect, this thing has a quarter turn system, and I was expecting it to be like the MJJC. This thing is super fluid, feels very, very precise, kind of sucks itself in, has gaskets around the lip, and the MTM um, just doesn't have that. With that said, I am also a MTM Veloci dealer. I actually ordered a bunch of these because I saw that thing, I was like, man, that's awesome. I'm so glad they're finally coming out with this. I ordered them, my, my shipment came in yesterday. I started playing with the adapter kits right away and I noticed every single one of them didn't have the top tightened down. They were just kind of sitting on there. When I went to go tighten them down, I found out I think why that is. And let's just go ahead and jump into it, guys. We're gonna jump into the contents of the actual foam cannon kit. We're gonna be testing it out because there are some upgrades to it as well. But just really quickly, I wanna touch on this because this was my initial disappointment. It has gotten better for sure, but this is my initial disappointment. Okay, so here it is, right? Again, this is just the adapter kit, but just imagine the heads on this thing. All right, so here is the bottle, right? It just has these tabs that are on the side here and they sit down into this piece. I'm gonna get some close-ups with you from uh, on my phone so you can see it better. So there are the tabs, right? And then you just obviously just sit it down into these four slots, boing, 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 and then you twist it to tighten it down. The problem is that whatever mold they use is not very refined. And as you can see, there's all this excess material sticking out off these tabs. So when you first get this thing, it is extremely, look at that right there. I mean, that's insane. So it's extremely hard to actually get the top to sit down on it. Also, there is one gasket up here, but that's it. So. Um, let me go ahead and show you tightening it down. Now with this one, I have done it multiple times, so I've been able to wear down those tabs, the, the excess points that was preventing it from going down. Now that it's done that, it's not nearly as bad. So you get it, you just put it on, okay? And guys, I'm, try, I'm literally, I'm not messing around, I'm literally trying my best here. There we go, got it. That was excessive, right? That's not, in my opinion, that's not what the quick, the quick option should be. Versus an MJJC, right? It just has these two tabs that are raised, that have like an angle to them. Bunch of gaskets around the top. Watch this, uh, close my eyes. I'm just gonna get the, the, the tube inside, if I can do that. There we go. Now this part, watch. And it seats in on its own. Like, precision, this feels really, really fluid, really, really strong. This to me, just feels really, really cheap. Okay, now that that negative portion is out of the way, guys, I do wanna say I'm, I don't know. I'm happy they came out the wide mouth version. I wish they would have just done a regular thread because that would have been easier to uh, attach than this quick turn thing. Um, in my personal opinion, if you already have an, a PF22 with a small mouth opening, I think dealing with getting your soap in through that little hole is easier than dealing with the, the wide mouth of conversion. Until you really wear it down, then it's not so bad. Um, but you have to like, like when you first get this thing, just kind of get it finally lined up, start doing this and wearing it down. Now, I don't know how that's gonna work over time. Is that gonna make it so loose that it starts to fall off? I don't know. I don't think so, but just a, a thought that went through my head. Now, just to show you the conversion kit, right? So regular PF22, we're gonna take off the head, right? It's threaded. We're gonna put that down, thread it onto here. Now it is plastic onto metal which y'all isn't always my favorite, but this plastic feels really, really good, actually. I don't have any concern with that. And plus, once it seats down, you shouldn't have to mess with it again, right? Because now you're just dealing with that quick turn. So we got that tightened down. Now, here's something I have not tried. I have not tried holding it up here and trying to tighten it down. It might be easier. Okay, that was very easy. 
Guys, I might have to take it all back. I don't know. We're gonna open the brand new one. When, it's, when the head's on, it's not bad at all. I mean, it's working very, very well for me right now. Like, extremely well. I don't know, let's test it out. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. I'll show you exactly what it comes with because it does come with some really cool features. Um, and like I said, guys, it, once it's broken in, if it's operating like it is for me now, it's, it, it's great. It, I, I, I completely take back all my previous statements. It is great. Um, again, not as precise feeling as the MJJC for sure, um, but it will definitely get the job done, no problem. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and check out what comes, what, uh, comes inside. All right, guys, so here's the kit. The really cool thing is they kept the price basically the same. So even though you're getting the, the additional adapter, it's the same, same kit price. So here we go. So we have a little card here. You have the wide mouth bottle. You have the head unit. Again, same head unit as before, right? Just again, we're gonna be working with an adapter. Uh, the straw, right? A little bit, it's not as fluid as other ones, but not bad. Uh, let's see here, pop this open. All right, so we have the new cap for the wide mouth. We have a new threaded piece that we're, I'm sure, the, just to put all this together and to set up the uh, quick connection. We have another orifice, which is nice. They give you an extra orifice. Uh, you get a cap. So I, I don't, I mean, that's, uh, I don't know. So I'm a little confused by this because it fits on here really, really nicely. However, you shouldn't be accessing this point anymore, right? You would think if you're gonna store one, then you would be storing it, a cap for this, so I don't know. Um, and then you also get now a weighted ball attachment, similar to like the MJJCs have or the uh, Griot's Boss. Really nice construction, this looks really good. It's a nice, uh, looks like stainless, but mesh, but like machined. It looks super, super nice. So I like that a lot. Let me grab a photo, uh, video of that for you and hopefully you guys can see this. Look at that, that looks super, super precise and really nice. That's high quality there. Versus the MJJC where it does have it and it functions great. It's just, you can you look in there and you can see it's just like a mesh screen in there versus this one is completely machined. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this real quick. Obviously this goes into the back of one end of the straw. Okay, so we got that on there. Now we're gonna attach it to this piece get everything to seat down nicely and hold in place. Okay, so we're good there. Now, this, I'm not exactly sure what this is for. I mean, for me, this looks like you could screw this in here. Yeah, that fits in there, and then it goes to an M, uh, uh, M22 by probably 14 connection point. Uh, I don't know why I would need that, so I'm just gonna put that to the side. We're gonna take this piece. It's really nice, it's already pre-wrapped for you. I like that, so you don't have to mess with it. Um, I'm just gonna get this, I'm gonna go grab a tool, tighten this down, and we'll be good to go. All righty guys, so I got that all installed. Now I'm gonna take this, slide it through here, and we're gonna tighten this down as well. Just like the adapter kit now, that's the same function here. So we're good to go. Now just, now that this is on here, right? This is a brand new one, and again, you can see the tabs are chunky, um, and, and definitely not as proper as they should be. There's excess material on them for sure. So let's just see how easy this goes on. Again, with the head unit on, it might be easier. Not bad. I mean, it's still not easy as it, uh, I don't know, it, it's, it's okay. I mean, there, it, I don't know. For me, we talk about the MTM, we talk about the Italian precision engineering on, the, on this thing. The head unit is so good, like it's, it sounds very, very, fluid and everything when you're using it. The turn is always really, really nice. It kind of clicks through. You can feel it actually seat in right there. Um, this piece is really, really nice. The bottle on the other hand, just doesn't feel like the same uh, precision engineering as the rest of it does. So again, I'm just gonna take it back and forth and work it down, kind of try and I mean, you can even see there's excess pieces of that tab coming off here. So you can see it right there. I, final, I filed that piece off. Let me see if I can get that off now. Yeah, so we filed that piece down and now it's starting to function a lot better now that those pieces are filed down. But same thing there, guys. You can see all that excess material. It just shouldn't be there. 
All right, and last but not least, guys, there's one more concern I had, and because this is threaded, it's righty tighty lefty loosey, and so is this, right? Because this is so tight, I'm gonna show you, this is cranked down, okay? It is nice and solid, right? But if I take it from here and go to back this off, it's fine, right? Over time though, look, that just loosened up. So, um, I don't know, maybe you could use some Loctite or something on that point. Um, but again, it's just, it, it's just not what I was really hoping for. It functions, it, it is doing the job, especially once you start to break it in. Um, but it's just not, it's just, it's not what I was expecting. Now, when we talk about the orifice inside of this thing, I don't know if it comes with, I think it says it comes with a 1.1 or 1.15. I don't know if that's this one or the one that's installed. All right, here we go. I got the information on the side here. 1.25 millimeter orifice installed, 1.1 comes with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap this out so we get a nice direct comparison. I'm sure I have the 1.1 installed on this one already, the MJJC. Uh, you know what, on this one, I don't remember uh, actually, I have a unit that I've been using. That one has a 1.1 in it. We'll test it against that. So guys, if you haven't seen my videos in the past, this is how you do it. You just take off that quick connect. There's a little orifice right inside. You just grab a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, simply back it out, let that fall out. Take the new one, drop it in there. Just make sure you're not cross-threading. So just make sure that otherwise you're gonna have issues. So just make sure it sits in there nicely before you start cranking it down. Tighten it down. You don't have to overly tighten it. Just get it nice and snug, get it to where, yeah. There you go, done. And then you can put the quick connect back on. All right guys, so we're gonna take the uh, adapter kit off the original PF22 here. We're gonna take that one, we're gonna compare them side by side, the new versus the old, and see how it works. Because like I said, there is the added feature of that new weighted ball that didn't have that before. Um, let's go. All right guys, so for this test, I'm going to be using the Active 2.0. I am running it through a deionizing machine, so this is gonna be spot-free water. If you haven't seen my videos on this, I'll link them down in the description for you guys, but fantastic way to get deionized water. Um, let's see here, we're running through an Uberflex hose down into my pressure washer nozzle. Now I'm gonna fill both of these up, so there are markings on the side with milliliters listed, right? So I'm gonna fill it to 750, and on the original bottle, it's right there, and on the new bottle, right there. We're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna use Geon Foam Oh no, sorry, Gion Bathe, excuse me, right here. And we're gonna do 10 pumps into each bottle. And then we'll test them side by side. Now, ideally I would like to be able to fill up one bottle and then go side by side so it's the exact same solution for sure. But because I wanna be able to test these side by side on the truck over there and be able to get a good comparison side by side, we're gonna do it this way. All right guys, so as you can tell, it is way easier to fill up the new wide mouth bottle way easier than this little guy here, especially with the soap and everything. So um, again, the wide mouth bottle option on the new one is awesome. It's just that connection point is what's disappointing to me. All right guys, so hopefully you can see it's filled to 750 on each of these uh, and then here as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the 10 pumps of Gion Bathe. All right guys, so Gion Bathe, again, much harder to get it into here and this is the easiest way to do it, right? With this pumps, pump bottle here, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then over in the wide mouth bottle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So we're just gonna go that route. If I need to add more, we will, but that'll be it for now. All right, now I'm gonna give each of them a little shake just to stir up the soap in there, right? Um, both of them are shooting vertical and they're completely, this is as far close as these go, which is another nice feature of the MTM, right? It doesn't close all the way. Um, on like the MJJCs and pretty much every other one, you can get them to close all the way. And once they're closed all the way, they spray all funky. So this is about the exact right size. Now the foam production, I tighten them all the way down to the right. So we're good to test. All right guys, so here's the test. Here we go. We're gonna start off with the original foam can. We're gonna spray, we're gonna go three passes on the back door. We're gonna switch over to the new one, three passes on the front door and see how they look. Again, everything is set up the exact same. Everything's tightened down the same way on, on both of them. Um, make sure I'm recording. Okay, good. Here we go, guys. Three passes. One, two, three. And as you can see, it's a nice thick set of foam. It is sheeting down now, pulling away all that dirt, helping to break everything down. So looks really, really good. Let's go ahead and move quickly onto the new one now, the wide mouth version with the new filter uh, weighted ball at the end. Again, guys, three passes. Here we go. One, two, three. 
very, very similar. Like I'd be nitpicking if I said there was a difference. Well, I don't know, maybe personally to me, I don't know, me, if I'm gonna nitpick and say one is thicker than the other, the original looked a little thicker to me, but I, I don't know. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and do a single pass now on this back section. So again, we have the new wide mouth here, single pass, not as slow, boom, right there. Again, fantastic coverage, nice thickness to it. Let's go ahead and go over to the original. And we're gonna do the same thing to try and match that pattern or speed. Yeah, guys, they're, they're the same. They're the, they're the exact same. So the head unit seems to be the exact same. The added filter slash weighted ball at the end is a nice feature. Does it affect the foam production? Not that I'm seeing personally, at least with 750 mils and 10 pumps of Gion foam, uh, Gion bathe, excuse me. Um, so both of them look really, really good. Now what I'm gonna do is just to show the difference and if to see if there is a difference between this one and the MJJC, I've always said, guys, that the for the best foam production out of a foam cannon, I've said to go with either the MJJC, the Pro, the V2, or the SV3. Both of those get the exact same amount because they have the same head. Um, the, the MTM or the Griot's Boss. Those are always my favorite ones for the most amount of foam production. So I'm gonna take this solution from the original one, put it into the MJJC, SV3, because that's the one I had ready there, and then uh, we'll test it that way. So guys, as you can see, just loosening the bottle and pouring this solution directly into this one. All right, let me put this down here and go grab the head unit and then we'll test it again. All right, so here's the head unit. Here's the solution. Tighten it down, tighten all the way down. Let's check the opening, spray pattern. I'm just gonna test this real quick to get like a relatively even. Okay, those look about uh, to be about the same fan pattern. Let me go ahead and rinse this off. We're gonna do this onto a wet panel, but uh, we'll still get a good idea. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. MJJC up first. We're gonna go three passes on the front door. Here we go. Guys, it's so thick. Like, I mean, all right, let's go ahead and move on to the new PF22 with the wide mouth because these are the direct competitors with that quick connect. Also very thick. You can tell there is a little more moisture in this one though, I would say. But either way, guys, if you want a ton of foam, both of these are gonna be fantastic. I would say, again, personally, I'm gonna give the nod to the MJJC on a little bit more foam there. We're gonna do a single pass on the back now just to see if there's a difference there. Starting off with the PF22 wide mouth. Coverage looks fantastic as it did before. Like really, really good. And now the M, uh, MJJC, same speed there. Yeah, I, I, I'm definitely gonna give the nod to the MJJC. But either way, with the PF22, it's a fantastic, fantastic amount of foam. The noise that these make, let me just go ahead and show you guys that. Hopefully you can hear that. The noise that the PF22 makes is different than any other foam cannon and it just sounds, it just sounds really, really good, really, really precise. I would say the head unit design of the, um, of the PF22 and the noise that it makes sounds like it's the most quality out of any of them for me. Um, personally, foam production, different story. The, the MJJC definitely gets more. Still sounds phenomenal. It's just the M10, M, uh, MTM has a certain sound to it that just is different than all the others and I really like that. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, after testing it, my opinion has changed. I like it a lot. Uh, still though, when you compare the Quick Connect style of this one versus the MJJC, the MJJC is night and day more precise and feels way better than this one. However, this functioned absolutely perfectly. Once you kind of wear that down, you know, uh, it should be good. Again, I, it's just a, the, the, the mold with that extra material on there, it's just, I wish it was a little more precise, but um, like I said, once you wear it down, it's not a big deal, which is a surprise to me. So that's it guys, overall thoughts. Um, if you have a PF22 and you love it and you love the way it, uh, it works, uh, 
up and you want to upgrade to the adapter bottle, I have these available on my website. However, um, if you want the just the whole kit, if you want a whole new unit, I have those available on my website as well. Everything is linked down in the description. And then as always, guys, I have stock of the MJJC SV3 and the Pro V2. People always ask me, which one should I get? I leave it up to you. It's, it's up to uh, you on that uh, for you know just the features of it. This one does have the quick closure, which is nice. This one is a traditional uh, screw on screw off, which is nice also. Just, you know, this one's a little faster. Um, this one does have a wider base, which I definitely do like personally. Um, also, the opaque style bottle seems to be a little bit more durable than a clear bottle. Just That's just in general with chemical storage, like, you know, when you get bottles of chemicals, when they're an opaque bottle, it's a little bit more durable in my personal opinion. I haven't had any issues with this at all. Uh, it's just, that's just my personal opinion. So um, again, both are fantastic units. These both get the same amount of foam, both awesome. Uh, with the new MTM PF22.2 wide mouth, also a big winner guys, I, I like it a lot. Um, my discrepancies that I had about it, we've talked about, it's not as big of a deal as I thought though, so that's it. So I hope that video helps you guys. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and we will see you on the next one.